flax here. Just started about a half hour ago or so. Seems dry. Drier than yesterday, surprisingly, somehow. I don't know how, but it's high humidity outside right now and no wind, or hardly any wind. But temperature is warmer though. It's actually over 70 degrees for a change. <laughs> It's been a pretty rare sight to have 70 degree weather in August here. It's been a cold August here. Harvest has been super slow. You can see the dust just kind of hanging. It's moving a little bit. There's a little bit of wind, but not much though. I'm really paying attention right up front. I think I mentioned that in my other video last night, but I'm still really paying attention. It hasn't wrapped at all yet. But I know I've been ha I've been going a lot faster though too. I've noticed so far. Here I was probably going more like three and a half to four. I'm going four and a half right now, and no sweat. Even going through this low spot up here, it's, it's nice. You know, it's like it's going through good. What a little bit more higher temp does. Still could use a little bit of wind though yet. Just helps helps it dry out more then, but this is pretty good though that I'm going this fast through here. That's pretty good. And with the I can just kind of see some vines in here. That could possibly wrap on the drum there, so hasn't done it yet, but anytime though. That green in there, that's some of that uh, I forget what it's called again. It grows in kind of wet wet spots sloughy areas, pretty leaf, leafy plant. Um, I forget what it's called again, but, but it's not a concern at all, that stuff. It's mainly the vines. There is a few vines in places here, though. I got to unload when I get to the, so heading down the other. We didn't really unload on the go yesterday too much because of the wind. It was pretty windy yesterday, and also with the wrapping issue we were having, too. A little bit colder yesterday and so we didn't really unload on the go too many times just I'm too busy concentrating up here because flaxseed it's it's really different for a lot of other crops you got to pay attention to what you're doing with this stuff or else you will break something like here I was going through three miles an hour here yesterday three quarter already wow nice here it's going through pretty good though you're hammering a little bit. Grumble, grumble, because of the green, those green plants in here. Whatever they are, growing the slough areas. Rather have to swap them when you don't have to. If it's all, if it's consistent like this, it's it's fine. Let it dry down, what it needs to be like. We're not spraying it down at all because the guy we're selling it to doesn't want any flax that was sprayed down. The, the companies that buy from him don't want it, so. We unload on the go or no? I said that. Yes, come. Stupid horse speed up top, top of this hill. I think there's not much wind today, so we can load on the go, and I'm not having too much wrapping issues either. So. Skipping. Running that thing yet. Hasn't ran, ran it too much yet. 
Oh, vines here. As I was saying, I have the reel set a little bit further on the combine, on the header. Talk about keeping it lower on the drapers. It seems like when it wraps, it starts over here on the right side of that drum. And then it just compounds then pretty much instantly. So keeping the reel a little bit further forward, but it still cleans the knife off, you know, keeps the, keeps the crop feeding in nicely, especially in the middle here mainly. Boy, that is too bad it's not like this all over. Oof, duh. <laughs> I like planting flaxseed. I like it. The one thing I don't like is getting it harvested. Is that That's really the tough part. I guess spraying, too. It's really touchy. Spray it in the summertime. It's a pretty touchy crop. You gotta be pretty pretty mindful what you're doing. Burn it. Burn the crop bad. <laughs> Yeah, the reel, the flax really grabs on the reel pretty easy there, too. Always gets in the middle there. Try to keep my reel a little bit lower. Just keep my knife clean, but we're gonna keep doing that, bud boy. Yeah, what the heck, stupid vines. I, 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 I might have a problem there. Uh, are you gonna wrap or not? Oh boy, oh boy. What are you doing? First time I had to stop, this is new. <laughs> when it grabs, it just grabs. You can't, it hardly ever lets go. This is what it does. The vines aren't helping either here. Oh my. Uh, it gets caught in here, and then it just keeps picking it up then. It's really the only spot you have trouble with on this header with stuff wrapping it is right there. Right in the middle here. I don't know what they can really do here. They put a guard in here or something or a bar to help clean it off. I don't know. Ugh. Come on. Yeah, right there. Yes. Yeah, there. I plug again. Trying to keep the knife clean, because I got the reel further forward. Kinda tough. At least it hasn't wrapped on there yet. Yeah, you s No, yeah, stupid vines right here. This stuff right here. This stuff right here. Stuff. Always something. Oops. And a lot of vines here this time. Boy. That's probably the worst part of the field <laughs> for vines right there, right in the low spot here. Too wet, really wet. Flax had trouble growing here, all the rain. There we go, now we're getting out of it now. And voila, just like that. Hey, you piss ant, yeah, those piss ants. Go away, get out of here. them in here. Yeah, now look at that. How nice that is here now again. Wait, it should be. Where's that wind from? North now? What? Oh, southeast. Look at that. The wind switched. <laughs> it's going to be that type of day today, huh? The wind's not going to know what direction it wants to go today. Clouds. Lovely. We're going to start cooling off now. 
I jumped over to the east side over here now. So I was running into some vines in that low spot. The rap was racking my drum. I jumped over here. I actually cut a path through there. Didn't know how far in they went, and also they just they just kind of stopped then, and then I just turned up here. It's been clean on this side now, so I'm gonna work, I'm gonna work on the east side for a while here until I get get to that spot again. Also, I'll, I'll creep closer to that spot than coming in from the east side. Then they'll probably have to have to swath that. I suppose those vines dry up then. That's probably what we'll have to do. Yeah, I got two swaths there from as well. The one outside round, there's always some stuff growing the outside, so swath the first down that I made a pass back then, so no big deal. I kinda wish I didn't cut a path through there now. I gotta lift my header up a bit here. Thought those vines are gonna keep going through this low spot here, but they quit though. They go all the way down the field here, no problem. Yeah, yeah. I gotta cut over here now. A little blip in the field here now. <laughs> Whee! I'm just wondering if that's gonna rain or something. Why is that getting so blue to the west? What the heck? I didn't know it was supposed to rain at all. But I but I, I know better though, we know better though. Last time they called for a dry spell, it rained almost every day. <laughs> I guess I wouldn't be surprised if it rained now, but that'd be bad though. We got a lot of stuff swathed. Swathed down in lane. gonna be what it's gonna be. It's not gonna be good. Hey, I got a tra tractor full of dust. Why not? Why not? Weight's working out. It's good there. What are you doing? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I suppose so. So thanks for watching, everybody. Just gotta subscribe and yeah, there we go. Flaxseed. Let's go. I just don't know what that's, why that's getting so kind of blue to the west. I don't like that. What time is it? 5 o'clock already? Or 5.15? Good grief. Oh, that stays cloudy like this. I probably got about two hours left to combine, and that's all I got. It's going to get too tough, that cloud cover. Amazing how flax flows sometimes, just like water. <laughs> Look how almost level that is, and it's just, it just flows. That's when you know when flaxseed is dry, is when it just flows. Yeah, there's some shells in there, but, or, yeah, it's all fresh stuff. Coming from the outsides. <laughs> flax is so touchy, you have the fan speed too high. It blows the flax out the back. You have it too low, you know, you get too many shells, and so you gotta find that medium. You're gonna have uh, the, sh you know, some shelled stuff in there like that. It's just the way it's gonna be, but take your evil. Too high fan speed or too low fan speed. <laughs> just take a little more dockage, that's about it. What do you do? Get all the crop you can. Oh, whoa, yeah, little bumps. Dead furrows. Well, I got this done. That's done here now. Well, except for a swath here, and then those two other swaths that aren't along the east side yet. So that I swathed that yesterday. I won't be ready to go because you can see there's some. Because the edge of the field, normal skip along the edge of the field of the sprayer. So don't want to overextend the the kill makes more of a problem then. So I'm gonna head over to another field, try it out. It's 7.30 right now, so I don't know if I, I don't know how long I'll be going yet. 
the sun's peeking out again, but there's a little breeze outside, so maybe, uh, you know, it all, it all, it all depends. Got to kind of listen to the combine and see what the air feels like outside, but don't have too much longer. I'll just have to quit.